Hello and welcome to the Queen's Eat speech. Well, I did contact the real queen to do this. Dear Queen, now that Mo Salah is an English treasure, don't you think your annual Christmas speech is a little culturally outdated? Yours welcome, Auntie Shagufta. But just like all good Muslim families across the country, she's having all her family over for Eid lunch. She's got Prince Charles coming over and his wife Kamina. And let's not forget their friend who's visiting from overseas, the orange Kamina. So you see, her doing a speech for Eid would have been a little awkward. What with two bahus having a cold war, it can't be easy all that food that she has to make all by herself. Bichari. But I know what all you youngsters are thinking. I can't even bear saying it. <sighs> that the royals should. Shh. A one dish party. My blood pressure. Hi. This is why all of society is so fractured and divided. We need to take lessons from history. It's not how generations of my family have done things. Me and the queen aren't too different, you know. Her family have some connections back to my motherland. So she understands these traditions well. So the key to world peace is to do DIY rounder rotis. You can't delegate this job to Mr. Small Hands. There will be war breaking out everywhere. That is my main takeaway. I did not order takeaway. And one love from my Tava. Eid Mubarak from Auntie Shugufta to the whole world.